Hi everybody. Now today is Monday the 13th of November 2023 and it's day three of me going over to the dark side and training to be an air source heat pump engineer. You underestimate the power of the dark side. If you will not fight, then you will meet your destiny. Now, I've been told I'm doing too much waffling and not getting on with it with these videos. So, let's just get on with it then. I'm not even going to mention it's absolutely chucking it down again. Anyway, one of the things I haven't uh, mentioned so far is we get a few training manuals. Now, we also get this handbook, which is like your progress. And you basically got to do home study. They look about six hours for each subject of home study before you take the subject. So we've got a manual for um, water regs, uh, unvented and energy efficiency, which is quite a thick book. And then we've got one for the air source heat pumps and the solar therm. So you're expected to have a good read of all this first before you actually take part in this course. Now, I don't know whether you saw it or not yesterday, but I released day two of the videos on becoming an air source heat pump engineer and going over to the dark side. And we looked at the water regs. Now these videos are starting to get a lot of negative comments from engineers saying air source heat pumps are a waste of time and why should we do it, blah, blah, blah. But guys, the course is free. There's not a lot we get from the government, but it is free because Tomcat has teamed up with Hybrid Technical Services to bring it to you absolutely free. And if you do want to do this air source heat pump course for free, if you're a sole trader, that is, uh, and if you're a director of a limited company, it's just a small contribution. Then why don't you email us your information at info at tom cat.co.uk and Catherine will get back to you. She's told me I've got to stop saying cat on the video because she don't like it. What do I know? I've only been a dad for 35 years. But anyway, so what about last week's course, the water regs? Well, is the water regs needed? Well, if you are actually a gas engineer, then you require the water regs to be able to do your job, the water side, when you're connecting boilers, because you won't have any plumbing qualifications. And if you are a qualified plumber, up to level 2 MVQ, then you can join the WEAP scheme with the Water Authority. So that's the Water Industries Approved Plumbing Scheme. So it helps you with that. So you're not just getting it for free. You can also get work from your local Water Authority. So how good's that? And if you do join the WEAP scheme, they issue you with this marvellous card with a fantastic picture of you taken just yesterday. Anyway, today is unvented or the G3 certificate so you can work on unvented hot water cylinders. So that's another big plus for this course because if you haven't got the qualification, you can't really install air source heat pump because most of them require unvented cylinders. And also, if it was over five years ago when you did your G3 qualification, you'll need to resit it because it's like your gas qualifications. It only lasts five years. So why don't you get it done for free instead of paying for it? Anyway, let's get on with it and join me going to the dark side in becoming an air source heat pump engineer you don't know the power of the dark side and let's get into the center and get this unvented certificate ticked off so we can become a registered air source heat pump engineer come on then <laughs> 